without a new generation of the battery which is made cleaner, the EV is not gonna go further. Because uh, first of all, the way they're making this battery is not clean. You know, the emission they're making is not sustainable. If you are wanted to make a sustainable a new clean energy, you have to change the way you're thinking. And this is not the way they're going. Right now, they make more emission, they make more impact on the environment in a bad way. And uh, that's what and why I think the new idea needs to come to this area. And this new idea is come from Sienza. My name is Mori Garib. I'm a professor of aerospace engineering at Caltech. Welcome to Sienza Energy. This is a place that the future of battery is going to be innovated. We have uh, more than 12 engineers that are working here. We have a space for them to innovate. We have areas that we created these batteries and areas that we are testing them and areas that we put them to applications. The first uh, EV vehicles actually built by Ford in the beginning of the last century. And one problem that we had that we could not have sustainable batteries. That's why that market never took off. Now, coming back, you know, 100, 120 years later, we have no technology based on lithium. And many innovations and inventions in the last 30 years gave us the hope that eventually lithium batteries become the main source of engines that can replace the fossil fuel based on engines. As you know, the lithium battery market now going to hit uh, half a trillion dollars in a few years. And, you know, that means that challenges in order to make this manufacturing sustainable and you know, safe in terms of manufacturing and its impact on the environment could be more challenging. So, uh, origin of Cienza Energies. In 2007 at Caltech, we were asked by Navy to come up with a new way of producing drag of boats. So, these boats and ships should produce less drag and therefore less bubbles. So uh, that challenge resulted in us to create a new type of surface based on, based on carbon nanotubes that grown on, so on the top of these surfaces. And that worked very well until uh, through scientificity, one of my postdocs discovered that these, these surfaces not only are hydrophobic, that means they hate water, but also they can store uh, lots of electricity. And that, that means they can be used like capacitors or batteries. So from a completely different application, we switch this innovation to start thinking how we can make batteries out. of The essential parameter of how a battery works is that how electrons go from one surface to another surface. So imagine that, you know, in current technologies, they do two-dimensional structures. That means one surface against another surface, electrons should go from one to another. But Chemistry is only based on surface interaction. So imagine that, you know, instead of having a two-dimensional surface, now I have a three-dimensional surface. And the way we, we provide that three-dimensionality, which provides more surface for having more chemistry, is to use carbon nanotubes. We are growing carbon nanotubes that, as I mentioned, they're very light and they can provide lots of surfaces for chemistry to occur. And that means increase more potential for storing energy. So it's going from simply to have a two-dimensional surface to a volume and providing more, you know, interaction for electrons going from another state to a different state, which is basic essence of having a battery. So now I can imagine that now by having this more surface for, uh, you know, transferring electrons, that means that we can increase the capacity of this volume by 30 to 50 percent compared to a two-dimensional one means 50% more range. Now, this technology also makes it possible that we recycle up to 60% of material that we use. That means compared to other batteries that they cannot even go to 5%, this is a major achievement. So that means less toxic you know, material dumped into the, the environment and less you know, the danger to you know, polluting the air. Our next step is that how to make this to a production. That means to not only look at all the system aspects, but also how to bring the cost down and how to make it manufacturable in a much larger scale. Right now, we are in a, in a the scale that, you know, we can manufacture, you know, maybe 10 batteries per day. As good as our batteries are, we cannot just, you know, limit ourselves uh, to 10 batteries per day because we could not then compete in the market. 
So the whole idea is that you know to you know expand it to a level exponentially that we can make thousands of barrels per day in order to bring the cost and in order to provide or to be able to maintain the what market needs. The vision for Cienza is to be able to be in every EV that's being built in this world. Cienza's goal for next five years is to be able to partner with the strategic you know, manufacturer because that way we can train them and they can train us how to manufacture batteries in larger scale. That's our goal for next five years. Next 10 years is to be able to you know, be the next Panasonic or you know, LG of the world. If the EV doesn't change the way they are making a battery, this is not going to go further. And I think the only way is if we make a revolutionary battery like Cienza and put it in every EV. We can go further range. We can have sustainable battery, recyclable, and is this is the only way. And my dream is having Cienza in every car, seeing EV in every street and people trusting it and say, oh, I'm never gonna come go back to combustion. I never want to do that.